Hey everyone, I'm Christy with Thrift Addict and I resell on Poshmark and eBay and I've been up to something new for the last year and a half and that's kind of where I've been and I want to share that with you now so stay tuned to see. Okay, so I kind of want to share where I went and what I was doing because I think it's something that you might be interested in. Um, I think there were several reasons I kind of stopped doing videos on YouTube and I think uh, 2020 brought a lot of change for everybody and I maybe underestimated the effects it would have um, being a teacher in the school system. We learned a lot and we grew through it and I kind of started a new thing which was an antique booth in a local mall and um so something had to kind of give because I was spreading my time too thin between everything that was going on. And my husband said something one day, he said, well, if you're going to be an influencer, then you have to X, Y, Z. I can't even remember what we were talking about. It could have been something to the fact that I don't tell a lot of people <laughs> that I'm doing what I'm doing. Only like a small group of friends know. Um, and when he said that, if you want to be an influencer, I was like, no, I don't want to be an influencer. And he goes, well, then why did you start a YouTube channel? Uh, and I said, I don't know. Just like everything else in my life, I just thought, hey, this sounds fun. And I jump in head first and don't think about where things need to go or how much time it takes or how much learning I need to do to like do something. I just kind of do it because I wanted to start the channel to share thrift hauls and talk about myself and maybe help people that were maybe in a situation like me that need some extra money, like a part-time, I think half the teachers I know have part-time things that they do for extra money. And so this was something I really enjoyed. I've tried other things I tried like a publication at one point with like ad sales in it. I did a um, multi-level marketing a couple of times. One did well, but it's just not my thing, you know, and I always thrifted ever since my husband like took me into my first Goodwill um, years ago. Anyways, not to make this incredibly long or make excuses why I have been gone a year and a half because I did have to decide like if I was going to tell people that I do this because not a single person in my family knows except my husband. Um, my friends don't even know. I don't know. I don't like putting myself out there, which is strange that I start a YouTube channel, but my husband got sick of looking at all my thrift hauls and me talking about reselling and how excited I was to find things. So I decided I was going to come on here and share it with the world. I don't know. So that's kind of what happened. Um, the next impulsive thing that I did, which is what I've been spending a lot of time doing the last year and a half, which kind of took my time away from doing videos um, as well, was starting a booth in an antique mall. The reason I started an antique booth, well, there's a couple of reasons, but I'm going to give you just a, a few of them. But I've always thought it was kind of neat. I, I like going into antique malls and seeing what all they have. Um, but I, I pass up on things a lot, like when I'm out thrift shopping, because I look at something and I'm like, this is really cool and it's really old. Let's take, for example, a little troll doll. If you know what I'm talking about, they're from like the 80s. And um, they might sell, like the certain ones sell for like five bucks. Um, it, it's not really something I want to like clean up, take photos of, list, put it on eBay, wait for it to sell, pack it up, ship it out for like a $3 profit, you know? Um, but it's something that I think is cute and I would love to pick up. So I pick them up and I put them in my booth. I slap a sticker on it. It goes in there really quick and I can do that with like several items. And so that was one thing cause I was passing on so many neat things that I would rather pick up. Another thing is I don't like shipping breakable items. So like glassware, ceramics, anything like that. It just scares me that I'm, they're going to break in transit. And you know, I know if you would pack, if I packed them well and all that, they'd probably be fine. But that's just like a fear of mine. And it takes a lot of time to pack those up. And if it's not something I sell a lot, I'm not going to be like quick and really good at it. And again, like I said, it's a part-time thing for me. So I have to spend my time wisely on what I do put online. And so 
I didn't want to pass up on stuff like that anymore. So again, in the booth, I'm able to put a lot of those things. The next thing is it's kind of a creative outlet for me. I like um, crafting and creative things and decorating. And sorry, my camera just stopped videoing. And where was I? So I was talking about the creative outlet. It's kind of a creative outlet because I get to decorate my booth and kind of set it up almost like my own little store. And so that's kind of fun. And that's one thing I love about it. And then the last reason I finally started, cause I had been thinking about it for like a couple months. So I guess it wasn't super impulsive, <laughs> but I kind of thought about it here and there. And, um, a friend of mine at work, a coworker, she was talking to me and I mentioned that I was thinking about starting one. And she goes, I was thinking about that too, because her mom was moving in with her and she had to liquidate a bunch of their things so that they could downsize. So I said, well, cool, we could do it together. So that's kind of how we did it. So then a month and a half later, we went to our local antique mall and we signed up to do a booth and we did it for a while until she got like all our stuff liquidated. And I'm going to pop some pictures up of just the booth as I'm talking. So you can see the progression that it made as I started in the now a year and a half later, kind of where it's at. But it was an eclectic mix because it had her stuff. It had my stuff. And I was just picking up everything at that point. So I named my um, booth Whimsical Wonders because I love Alice in Wonderland and I wanted to kind of make it whimsical and have like a, a mix of whimsical type things and I was going to craft things to put in there, but you know, time. And it, it transitions through seasons and it changes and I change it for holidays. So it kind of takes on a new personality. And right now it has like multiple personalities. I don't know everything there's to know. I'm constantly learning from other vendors and um, just trial and error and, and trying different things. So if you think that that sounds interesting and that you might like to come along and learn with me, then I would love for you to subscribe down below because I'm going to video more like just day to day, like what I do with my reselling, whether it's the booth, eBay, Poshmark, any of those things, because that is content that I can do while I'm on the go. That's what I feel like my channel needs. It needs to go in that direction so that it can fit into what I already had to do, which is, you know, my full-time job, my family, my kids, and all their activities. The video is way longer than I intended it to be, so I'm going to try to wrap this up. I know that there are thousands of resellers out there doing the same thing that I'm doing, but we're not all doing it the same. I think every single person has a unique experience to share and that's what makes YouTube content so great. That's why I love, you know, listening to different resellers because I learn from each and every one of them and I love seeing each and every one of them's personality and what they do and how they do it. And then I, you know, take things that I want to do and then create my own and that's that's essentially how you should do it. Um, so I'd love you to join me on my crazy journey. I'm excited to share the booth with you and just the whole mall in general. I'd love to go through and like highlight a different vendor um, in different videos so you can see their styles and what they do. There's just some like really cool spaces and there's just 130 vendors. I think that's something new that I'm going to add to my channel that you might enjoy. I will still do my eBay and Poshmark stuff as I've done in the past. And like I said, I'm just going to take you along on my journey and hope you can join me. Thanks for hanging in there with me to the end of this video. If you did, um, comment down below that you made it to the end of the video. And again, hit the subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you next time.